hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel how oh, if you're gonna if you wanna make hundred dollars one fifty dollars fifty dollars two hundred dollars daily just capping boom and crash then you need to watch this video you need to watch the video you know we all know that boom and crash has been a one of the most profitable pairs that will have that you can easily make quick money but don't forget same way you can easily make quick money you can still what easily lose money quickly the difference is just what what this what differentiate that is just your ability your knowledge and that is what what differentiate you and your what and your psychology you can really have a working strategy but if you are not in the right state my brother your strategy will not work your emotion will over what we overbid your strategy right so it's been a long time you had from me i'll be working on the price action the live price action class i did said in my last video that we are going to be starting a live youtube session where we will teach price action as we will teach price action right from the world from the basic forest from the basic because it's has really been a challenging from the feedback I've gotten from my people, as in some don't even know how to calculate people, some don't even know how to identify a trend. So we will be working on that, and as it stand now, I can say we are eighty-five percent ready for the Zoom, for the live session, for the live price action session. We're gonna be going live, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do your technical analysis, how you can analyze the market. With pure price actions, we don't need to work with indicators. And but we all know that one man best food is another man poison. So we are actually going to be working in two way. One how we can we can analyze the markets and take it what a trade setup without using the indicator. Then two how we can analyze markets and still use indicator as our confirmation. Because the thing there is that there are some that. If they have not seen indicator, they are not comfortable trading. So we are going to be working on those two kind of categories of trader that we have, and it's going to be very lively. It's going to be very mind blowing, mind blowing. Just stay tuned to it. So today, let me just give you a very quick strategy that you can just use to what to scalp the market. As a matter of fact, you can stay long with it. We can stay long in it. Because basically, you can be taking uh, 10 candles, 15 candles, 20 candles. You can even take up to 30 candles or even 50 candles. But don't forget the what the rules. Always work with your rules. Always work with your rules. So without wasting much of your time, guys, without wasting much of your time, let's go directly to it. So we'll be using two indicators. We'll be using two indicators. We'll be using two indicators. So the first indicator we are going to be working at is going to be our Bollinger Band. It's going to be our Bollinger Band. Uh, the period is 20. The period is 20. Deviation is 2.0. Note, deviation is 2.0. 2.0, not 2,000. Take note of it. 2.0, not 2,000. I take note of it. So once you are done, you can use any style of your choice. Apply to close apply to close you can use any style of your any style of your choice right so once you are done you click on done right once you are done you click on done moving our uh, bollinger band you click on what you click on done and here we go then the next one we're going to be using is going to be our what our stochastic oscillator stochastic oscillator so the the parameters there is that now the percent k the k percent period is going to be five the uh the percent is going to be three slowing is going to be three price feed is going to be low i low i take note of this place low i low i the method is what the method is simple now the diff the thing there is that now look at this area this is another complication you should know what you should put into consideration you should take out for right now for this time now the main is going to be one pixel and the color of the main it main style has to be the color of your background if you look at my background is white if your background is black that means this main present has to be black and the 
the the, the main color here has to be black and if your if your background is blue though i have not seen blue background but whatever your background is it has to be the color of your background and it has to be one pixel so that it doesn't show right then the signal line now we're only using the signal line here it has to be two pixel then the color you can use any color of your choice but if you want your chart to be like my candle use right so once you are done you click on what you click so for the levels now the levels are just this so we're going to have the 20 levels the 80 levels and 90 levels and even 10 level so that is the level that we are so once you are done you click on what you click on done once you are done you click on done so now now this is it we are going to be using two time frames two time frames right we are going to be using two time frames uh the first time frame the for the zoom level now let me start with that for the zoom level uh this is zoom level one right this is zoom level two this is zoom level three and this is what zoom level four and zoom level five so basically we have five zoom levels in boom and crash so we'll be using the what the, the second the third one the middle one of it which is this we'll be using the middle one of it this is our zero level this is one this is two okay we're using the two level right we're using zoom level two we'll be using zoom level two so now this is so that is that so for the time frame now so for the time frame now uh for the time frame now we are going to be using for our time frame now we are going to be using two time frame our one minute time frame and five minute time frame right that is what we are going to be using right that is what we are going to be using and this is it so once you are that now if you are very conversant if you have a conversant with my channel you will always observe that i always the indicator that i'm using i always make at least give an indication of you so bollinger band i will still keep repeating it is one of the most leading indicator that you can have remember that indicators do lag but as as far as the lagness you see of indicator is bollinger band still have an upper hand in giving you a what a true trend once you just understand you just need to understand the psychology behind it the physiology beside behind the bollinger band so by that you get to know the pros and the cons of it so bollinger band is actually a trend a trend indicator so for the stochastic oscillator the stochastic oscillator too is also a trend indicator right it's also a trend indicator so basically now for the bollinger band now let me give one of the most distinct um properties of bollinger band now for bollinger band we we'll have three lines we we'll have three lines right now the first one is this our upper band uh, the first one is this our upper band right this is our we we'll call this one our middle band and we we'll call this one our what our lower bollinger band now take this out from this video if you are going to be learning if that's the only thing you are going to be learning so for the upper band now the upper band always acts as a what as a dynamic um as a dynamic um as a dynamic resistance so you take it at the roof of your house why the lower band will always act as what as a dynamic support so you take it as what as a, as what as a ground of your house so basically now that is where the ideology comes in from and that is the how we are going to be framing our what our setup with it so basically that means since we are working with boom and crash and we're working on scalping strategy that means we're going to be trading you are going to be taking the ticks in boom and crash then that means on crash we all know that normal level the normal trend for crash is always going to be what downtrend so if you are going to be scalping now that means you are going to be taking the upside so we all know that if you are going to be buying crash 1000 then that means it has to be in a downtrend so logically it has to be at this what at the lower band of this bollinger band remember that i said the, the lower part the lower band of the bollinger band is actually stand as a dynamic support so once you have your price at the lower band you can take your entry from your confirmation so that is the first confirmation you are looking at for price has to be at the lower band for crash 500 or crash 1000 right 
it has to be at the lower band i'm going to be making another video to give you what's a, a breakdown on how you can use it on what's on pump 1000 and pump 500 you understand you can also still use this for crash 300 too right it basically works for crash 300 i will going to explain you so basically it has to be your price has to be at the below the lower bolivian band take note it has to be below the lower Bollinger band and that is the first confirmation you are looking out for right so for the second confirmation now so the second confirmation now is that you need to go down to our what our um stochastic oscillator stochastic oscillator is also a trend indicator and is still one of the is still part of the leading indicator that we have right it's still part of the leading indicator that we have that their largeness is like can take it to not really what not really as high as all those other ones all those your cci this and that no right it's not that guys so that is one thing about the stochastic oscillator so what you are looking at for on the stochastic oscillator now you need to train your eyes as in guys you need to back test this thing very very well you need to back test it. this is one of the easiest and the part of all the strategy you can take out from here as in just take your time and back test very well so what you're going to be looking at for on the stochastic consultor is going to basically is going to be your words your w your w and you are looking now to take out the words the second leg of the w and not just the first leg now let me now give you one of the pros and cons of w now every trader will come out there will tell you i only trade w's m's and w i trade m's and w there are variation to the w this is one variation to w you can't compare this w with this this is the w this is another variation of this right you can't what this is still another what another w so where the work now where is that you will need to back test very well know the kind of variation of the w's that you have there are times the first leg is going to be longer than the what the second leg there are times like that there are times the second leg is going to be longer than the first leg those are the major variation that you have in your w is you can't expect to always have a normal w it is not being done that is the variation and now that is where many of you actually have it out that is where you get to miss it out so this is w for you so the first confirmation i don't want the video to be too long well i so the first confirmation is that price has to be at our what at our lower bollinger band all right lower bollinger band and on our on our stochastic now we must have a what a w now this is a practical example of it now once you add this look at this now look at this now let me and show you the pros and cons of this now now look at this this is the first leg of our what of our w this is it so if if did i went to have this spike when price is touching the board they stock the bollinger the lower bollinger band for the first time look at this, this is lower bollinger band now the second time now look at it this is the second leg of our wu that was the second time price is closing below it right so the confirmation you are going to be getting now take note of this take note of this you will always have what we call a doji we always have what we call a doji candle now this is an example of a what of a doji candle so once you have the two uh, the, these two confirmation now price is at what at the lower bollinger band now the first touch you wait for the second touch of it the second touch of it and from the second touch of it you look down to your what your stochastic oscillator you must have your what your w so once you have your w like that just like we did have here you take your entry now where your entry is going to be now is that there's what we call a what a can we now be looking at the candlestick part this is what we call a doji right there's variation to the doji too there's variation to it so you just need to work to master it back test very well right so once you have the doji you take your entry after the doji and you can take five candles or five three to five candles or more but please apply your risk management 
apply your risk management now this is a practical example of it this is what i call the doji look at this is the doji here this green can this uh green candle here this small green candle that look like an armor right that is a lot so you could have taken your entry from after this doji and now okay the best way you can take your entry is that for the you not once price get to your world to your middle bollinger band you can look to exist your trade or you break even take note is that you want you exist the trade or you break even right or you want you either you exist it or you break even right either of the two right because most times once price reach the lower bollinger band two things are meant to happen is that it's going to continue until when it gets to the upper bollinger band so once price touch the upper bollinger band my Oga, I beg, just what just as did the market except when you've done your top down analysis that is when you can look to hold on to the price but the moment price get to the world to the upper bollinger band just as this if you have not been greedy you'll have entered after this doji here right for the upper for the middle layer band now you've taken like well that's almost 10 candles right that's 20 pips that's 30 pips and this is what this has been 21 pips right and you're good to go so you can always do this as many as possible now this is another example here look at this is another example here see this is our w look at our w look at the variation are you seeing the variation in it now the other thing that you need to put it in the now you can see you can see our what our doji candle here see our doji candle your entry will be after this doji now right now the w you are looking at for now has to form at either the 20 level or the or the 10 level take note of it either the 10 to level of the stochastic or the 20 level take note of it so guys that is it see this is another example here you can see now you would you wouldn't have gone for this now this is what i'm telling you now right like, this is what i'm telling you now this is another word see this is the first one look at this is your w you see your w now in relation here now is that you could not have any words so you class match on this there's no um there is no doji candy to confirm it for you right but now what they did was that that is this look at so you could have patch on this cause is not touching the words the lower bollinger band here so this could have been a pass for you this could have been a pass for you right this could have been a pass for you now the only way you can now now you can have if you look at so that's going to be another one that's where we talk about our divergence all right that's where we talk about divergence right that is where we talk about our divergence. So this is for crash five hundred. Watch one thousand. Let me check out crash five hundred. We we'll have the same thing there too. We we'll have the same thing there too. We we'll have the same thing there. We we'll have the same thing. We we'll have the same thing there. Now here here we we'll go. So this is a what. This is another example here. See, you can see your W here c or w here so these are the variation you need to put into consideration they might tend to what to hold and hold and hold so just do your back test very well but anyway if you are here to subscribe to my channel please hit on that subscribe button now and turn on the bell notification may do well to what to join my telegram channel do well to join my telegram channel then now as part of preparation for our price action drop in the comment section what topic you feel i should add to the price action course or what you feel i should talk about much what exactly is your problem about the markets what challenges have you been facing to kindly drop in the comment of this video i'm going to reply every comment and i'm going to what do justice to those that i can add to it i'll add it to the word to our course outline so guys see you where let's keep making the riff let's keep me there we just need to keep making the riff and what and withdraw from what withdraw from our there we just need to keep withdrawing from our broker our broker needs to keep what paying us until the next time you see me see you guys